welcome back to my channel uh, in this episode we are going to create a, a shopping cart with products and all the setup so there will be a bit of an advanced version where we'll going to be use uh, dataverse to store data uh, not just shopping cart but we will have a way to configure products adding product categories creating a, a checkout system and all of those things will be in this series of videos so first off we'll go to solution to create a package where all our uh, shopping cart system will be in so I'll create a new solution we'll call it shopping system uh, I will use uh, create a new publisher let me call it from my name you can use your company name or anything as a prefix uh, so here we go so now I'm selecting my prefix and I'm creating this solution So first I'm going to create a table called product category. keep things simple it will just have a field called name uh, I'll go back to my tables and create another table called sorry I'll create another table and call it products so let's add some columns in the product uh, so name is already there uh, let's put a thing called brand I can go to choice or in fact uh, what I can do is I can create another table called brand and use that brand as an association to product so I will come back to my product, uh, put a brand, use a format, uh, use it as a data type of lookup, uh, use brand as an, so brand would be the lookup table. it first okay so I'm adding another table we'll call it ratings and reviews um, let's call it review so inside that let add uh, so review subject let's rename name as review subject and then I'll add two more uh, columns one is for rating uh, so ratings I uh, will keep it a whole number another one is for review detail keep it a uh, text area uh, go to my product inside this yeah uh, I'll add some more columns so I'll add price come to my 
So when C save a uh, new column, uh, block description. Give it a rich text maybe. We can also have some delivery notes. Keep it as a rich text again. So uh, let's keep it that. Uh, so to set up products, we'll create a model driven app. And then for the end user to use, we'll create a canvas app. So I'm creating a model driven app. Okay, go to, uh, go to your apps, create new click on app click on model driven app uh, let's call it rock click on create I'm going to create a group called so here I'm putting a table as product I'm having product category as the first uh, sub area. Let's put product category. Then add another sub area called um, table product. Add another sub area called um, brand. Right, so save it. So While this is happening, uh, I need to add few more tables. So I'm going to make up our apps again. Go to my solution, shopping system. Uh, come here in the products. So I'm adding another. Uh, I'm adding a relationship with product category. So I'm uh, adding, um, sorry, main, not this one. So I'm adding a many to many relationship with product category uh, since same product can be into many categories so I'm using many to many uh, where is product categories uh, it's over yeah so done so I also need uh, something like product image to swap so I'm using that as well so here the brand Brand from brand view brand product everything is done pretty much for the main one uh, I need to do some of the changes so I, I just added a main product form so I'm editing it so here is my main product form for the model driven app which is loading so I'm adding uh, some of the things like price, product description, uh, also uh, delivery notes. Uh, I can give the status as active and inactive as well for the products. Uh, price is done, product is done. Um, also, I can add a, a grid. So I'm going to create a new section where I'm going to put reviews and I'm going to put a subgrid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just directly creating a product image from here which you can do 
by going to the this section of table columns create a new table column and I can uh, create product image directly from here let's call it image set it as primary image and save it so the image is now shown here and I'm putting just after price So I'm going to save this, publish this, and uh, let's see how it works. Uh, the review and rating, it's not working because now I need to establish a relationship with review as well. So I am going to have uh, one to many relationship with review because a product can have many uh, reviews so it will be one to many reviews so i'm going to create this one to many relationship with the review table and once this let's publish this and play it while uh, the review table uh, the relationship is being established and i'll just remove this product category and put review here uh, in fact like since a uh, product can have many categories I can actually use this subgrid as well so instead of reviews I'll rename it to product categories uh, publish it so and I can have another one column section and put the reviews over there so adding a one column section below uh, rename it as reviews and then uh, add us in subgrid let's see if it shows the review one uh, but I think it's not published yet uh, it's not showing up so uh, let's not worry much about it also I think I forgot to put the brand table here a uh, brand column here so I'm adding a new column called brand and no I thought I put let's see look up let's see if it's published so here is a model driven app where we can set up product categories products and brand so uh, let's create a category called laptop save and close uh, let's create a cloud called mobile phones save and close maybe um, clothing um, let's call it t-shirt also books uh, so we can have as much as categories based on wo uh, what categories that we want to put so that kind of configuration can be done in the product category side while as in the products so before doing products let's go to brand uh, we can have different brands that can be set up uh, for example we can have Dell Asus as brands right and when we add products we can define uh, which product categories it belongs to which brand it belongs to etc so uh, before adding up a product let's come to our information place and put a brand uh, as one of the lookup also in the review section let's put the review subgrid 
uh, this one created by mistake so I'm deleting it uh, this particular section the new section I'm deleting it uh, but in the reviews I'm going to go to put a subgrid let's see and see if the review is added okay so the review is here uh, add a default active reviews done So we have bunch of uh, uh, I put it in wrong section I guess so I'm dragging it and putting in the in review section so I'm review re removing the section that I don't need saving it and this form is now saved uh, I'm also going to product and edit the view of the product so that I can have um, information when this is called view so I want information like price brands uh, everything in this section as well so I'm going to my uh, product view section and then uh, I want to add the active product view and I am editing this view and adding those sections that I need while this section is being opening I'm publishing the form and I come back to my uh, view section so I'm putting uh, clicking on things like brands things like price um, what else I need uh, I don't think any uh, okay product description so all these things that I need is here uh, pro if I don't need created on I'm removing it so I'm going to my products now I'm refreshing my model driven app and I'm and if you see the columns that I need are here but not so I can change its length and columns and everything by defining it uh, I, by dragging it a bit like the way I want it so if I want description to be a little longer price and brand to be a little shorter I can save it and publish it again and then just refresh it to have these views work accordingly so first off let me add a product so I'm adding Dell uh, G5 15 as a product and I'm putting its uh, descriptions uh, specifications like uh, my first okay so the brand table is still not showing up probably this is not published prop okay the brand is still left it's not showing up here so I'm dragging my brand and putting over here okay so let's put it just before price save it because the brand is not showing here so probably I think I've made some mistake or it didn't save properly so I'm publishing it again um, so I'm refreshing it once it's published property uh, I'm, I'll refresh it and put information I don't want to type information so let me just search this brand and put a copy based information from here um, let's see Let's see even if it's not published properly if I get to see the information <sighs> so 
so we'll put brand and everything after let's come here I'm copying this putting it here uh, I want to put some description I can put this in my product description is there any delivery notes um, okay so I'm, I'm just copying the delivery notes putting it here so as you can see it says a uh, number of hundred characters in the field so I need to increase characters so I'll go to my columns uh, go to description and okay so the brand one is also done so I cannot have long information yet so let's just remove it uh, save it uh, let's come to product okay product is there brand is Dell what's the price here yeah, it's $140 $840 uh, I can put an image save this image my description and everything uh, it still needs to be fixed so while that is happening I'll put my product category as laptop uh, reviews is something I uh, is something that okay so laptop is the, okay oh, mistakenly I'm so remove it so laptop is there uh, reviews is something once user starts to put uh, reviews it will show up over here uh, I need to add description and notes but unfortunately while setting it up I keep uh, I need to come here and put maximum characters count as at least like thousand because description can be pretty long same with delivery notes it can be pretty long but let's see if uh, if this delivery notes fit in again like it exceeded the 100 character limit so I come back here um, in my solution notes so again I'll put delivery notes as thousands as well save it Uh, once it's saved come back here Ref uh, let's remove this and save it okay already saved let's come back here check if the okay still you have exceeded maximum so let's come here and try to see what maximum that we can put so uh, you might see like uh, this is a rich text so inside it use HTML and those HTML characters are also counted so come here and see what we can do so let's let's put it as big as possible so 4000 is the maximum limit so let's give it 4000 description let's put 
thousand as well. Uh, this product image I created it mistakenly. Uh, it's of file type, so I can remove it. Uh, let's refresh it. Refresh it again. Okay, looks like working fine. Um, I'm copying this description, pasting it here. Okay, uh, let's try to save it. Okay, so description is there, image is there, product is there. Uh, so this is how I develop this model driven app to set up information about product categories, brand products in the, for the shopping system that we are building. Uh, I don't want to call this group, so I'll come to my model driven app again um, to my preview and just rename it as something product information okay so save it so so we've covered the product setup part in this uh, video in next video i will create a canvas app where we will be listing all those products and all the description of these products and then probably uh, we will be moving forward with how we can create product orders and all in the upcoming videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my uh, videos, please subscribe to my channel uh, and don't forget to click on this bell notification to stay updated with all the upcoming videos on uh, this series of creating a shopping cart. Thank you so much.